give me 18 inches of daylight. That's all I need. And from the University of Kansas arrived running back Gail Eugene Sapes, the Kansas Cup. And his groundbreaking and game-breaking talent shined like a supernova. In only seven years, Sayers created an enormous catalog of runs that are a joy to see. In 1968, Sayers ran into a season-ending injury that put his career in jeopardy. They say that uh, when, once you get a knee injury, you should think about quitting because uh, a running back very rarely comes back from the type of knee injury that I had. I wanted to prove that one could come back from a serious knee injury within a year. They say so many times well, it takes two years, they three years to come back. I want to prove that you could come back and uh, as I said, I had one of the worst knee injuries ever. It was his will that propelled him to his second 1,000-yard season in 1969, cemented his place in Chicago history, and carried him all the way to the Hall of Fame. The final touchdown shows the effortless ease by which Sayers humbles opponents and excites football fans around the NFL. Gail Sayers, in his rookie year, turned in perhaps the greatest single-game performance of all time. On a muddy field, Sayers streaked through the San Francisco 49ers for a record time six touchdowns. I knew where I was going and they didn't. It was just, you know, one of those days you like to relive over and over again. One of those days that uh, happens once in a lifetime. On third down and one to go at midfield. This is Gail Sayers getting away from one tackler, turning it on, and going all the way for a touchdown. 50 yards, his fourth touchdown of the afternoon, his 19th of the season. A penalty set the Bears back to their 49, but Gale Sayers made up the loss and then some as he raced 51 winding yards through the Falcons' defense to vault Chicago into a seven-point lead. Down 21 to 7, the 49ers were forced to punt. That wonderful mutter, Gale Sayers, was on the receiving end, and 52 yards later, the game was out of San Francisco's reach. Bears ball, first and 10 in the 42. This is Gale Sayers, last year's rookie of the year, and here is why. I had great peripheral vision, there's no doubt about that. I could see everybody on the field. And so I knew where to, where to run, where to cut. In the same way, I, could, I had a, a, a feel for where people were. The run that I made in 19, probably 1967, against the Baltimore Colts. I go around the right end, come back to the left end, and see a little gap, and go up the middle. Boom, for about a 65-yard touchdown. That, you know, signifies Gil Sayers. That run, you know, I just enjoy seeing it. With a second down coming up at about six yards, the pitch out to number 40, Gale Sayers, and watch the brilliant Chicago rookie. Getting where he likes it best of all on the outside, he just outruns everybody on the field, and the Bears score to go in front of Baltimore by a count of seven to nothing. Bukic, firing over, hits Gale Sayers. And down the sidelines, the Kansas Wiz goes. All the way, 65 yards for a touchdown. Rudy Bukic. Goes to Gail Sayers. He gets away from Bill Coleman. Now starts angling across field. Gail Sayers now sees daylight and turns it on. He goes into the end zone for a Chicago touchdown. St. Louis 24, Chicago 17. This is Gail Sayers, who has just put the Bears very much back into this ball game. Now on third and ten, Bukic on the screen pass to Gail Sayers, a sensational rookie from Kansas. You can watch his moves as he goes all the way, 80 yards for a touchdown. Touchdown number 16 of the season for Gail Sayers. Third period highlights feature Gale Sayers. The 198-pound halfback takes a screen pass from Bukic and leaves a flock of Rams strewn in his wake. 
Still going. And Ditka delivers the final block as Gale goes 80 yards to the end zone. That's Gale Sayers on the 15-yard line. You can see him breaking away from that tackler. And watch the moves here. The quick move of Gale Sayers. He's off 85 yards for a touchdown. Looking over his shoulder. His sixth touchdown of the game. He has just broken the National Football League touchdown record for one year. 20 set last year by Lenny Moore. Number 21. <laughs> This 90-yard touchdown on the kickoff was his second of the season. Take of booting the ball to Sayers on the ensuing kickoff. Now watch this. The Windy City Whippet rockets 97 yards to a touchdown and a lead the Bears never relinquished to the Rams. feeling rather smug at this point but they're whistling past the graveyard for the bears they thought they had buried come to life in a hurry it's Gallup and gale sayers to the rescue as the most exciting runner to explode on the nfl scene in years jets 96 yards to a touchdown sayers heroics makes the score bears 38 vikings 37 from the opening kickoff, it was evident what kind of a day the 49ers were in for. Gail Sayers made it crystal clear to them. On the three-yard line was none other than Gail Sayers. Ninety-seven yards later, the Bears had a surprising 21-7 halftime lead. With the Bears trailing 3 to nothing early in the first period, Gail Sayers received three yards deep in his own end zone. His blazing 103-yard gallop not only thrust the Bears into the lead, but also went down as the longest scoring play in Bears history.